We're going to do something real cool. DISD, the Dallas Independent School District, has a program where they're trying to introduce elementary schools to STEM, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math. By building bridges. Anybody in here know how to build a bridge? Over the 14 years that we've been here in the North Texas region, we've developed relationships with eight education foundations in the school districts across North Texas, both in Dallas County and in Tarrant County, to cover all of our corridors. Um, we've done different things. Everything we've done has always had a STEM focus. What's been fun is to watch our other concessions across the United States, and even some gl uh, globally, have taken on that same cause plugging themselves into education systems, trying to get STEM down to the very level where kids are making up their minds about what they want to do in life. It's important to expose students to the STEM experience for two reasons. One of the reasons is for Texas, they have to pick a field, an area of study to go in. So we are wanting them to be exposed so they can pick the STEM as their interest before they get to eighth grade, they have to make a choice. That's one reason. The second reason is STEM is so many different challenges. It's a problem solving field. Most of the kids in these neighborhoods never leave the neighborhood. They never get to see different things. But we're bringing it here to them and giving them a vision of what an engineer can do, how to build things. And watching um, the uh, workers for LBJ Express just you know, get excited about teaching. And um, you know, it's great. And you've done it so many times for it, and it's getting better and better and better. The importance of the adult role models. So for instance, I'll be very transparent. So with a student, if they see you doing it, especially someone that looks like them, they be like, hey, they could do it, I could do it too. Connect them with somebody who's experienced it and can guide them and talk to them about it, I think it's the best way to be able to reach students. It's being able to, let me show you, let me tell you, let me talk to you. And it's not in a really formal setting, so they like the informal setting of being able to talk and ask questions freely without being, okay, am I asking the right question? So they could be themselves in, in this type of environment. Working with kids, I enjoy uh, the questions that they ask, so they are have fresh minds. Uh, they ask questions that us as adults, uh, we don't dare to ask sometimes, so that's what I love the most, working with kids. We're basically doing a STEAM project with sticks. We're building like engineers. Today I'm going to be doing, uh, making some bridges. Uh, and maybe tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna let it dry over the night, and we're gonna test who is the strongest. It's like a little competition who ha who built the strongest bridge. Bridges are like they're super cool, kind of because like say there's like this big old body of water, no one can get through. Bridge, ta-da. That's what we want these kids to get out of what we're doing with them. Teach them how to think. Teach them that hey, you know, I might want to build a bridge. Or if one of the analysts gets into a conversation with one of the kids, you know, and learns what they do in their data mining and all the digital stuff that, that those guys are into every day. Some of these kids are shy. This kind of activity draws them out of that shell a little bit, and hopefully that helps them too. We want to leave a footprint for the rest of our life at these schools that we serve. We want Taco to to truly impact all the elementary schools in, in uh, Pleasant Grove and the middle school because I want every kid to walk through there to understand it's not, it's not a right but a privilege and you need to get your education. I try to stand by the words that I speak. You know, I want to be the change that, that you see in others. The best part that I've been having is that is uh, like the teamwork and um, the experience that how I could start doing experience at home and how I could start and maybe I might want to do want to be an engineer. Math is so important. I can tell you now in my life at this point, I wished I had paid better attention to the mechanics, the math. You learn how to think. You know. So we are looking here to also in the future generations to promote science, engineering, because who knows, uh, probably the future engineers will be 
here working with us and in the future working in our company. Corporate partners play a huge role. I just think about it, we are feeding the workforce, so we are the pipeline to the corporate partners. So if we can connect, make that connection, we can create a great pipeline between our students being able to become employees of the corporates today.